Oh yeah. <laughs> I mean, this is for adults. This is this is Sesame Street. And they go, "Hello." And you're like, "Hello. How are you?" "Oh, I'm good. How's your day at school?" It's not like they work for AT&T or something. That's an ad product placement. Let's come meet some of them. What would motivate you to actually pick up the phone and book a screening? So easy to talk to us. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's so easy. We got a lot of years war. Oh my gosh, African white carnage. Uh, hello. Is so amazing. Meanwhile, the spirit's like ah, ah, murder force. It's literally the best piece of propaganda we've ever made. Oh, it's we propaganda. Uh, 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 we can make uh, Tony 2012 famous. Uh, we can make the story known, and it can be the one. Because we've got the State Department and all the stars behind us, and Angelina Jolie, and Georgia Clooney. You are the future. Step into it, okay? Step into it. Peace. Step into it. Let me mind control you. Let me do some effeminate stuff now. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Pentagon's like, how do we get the jellyfish into total war? Dance around and prance. You can see black ops guys are just sitting back, cold-blooded. This will work well on them. Good. Increase dosages in water immediately. Send out trendy trendies to destroy them. There's nothing. I mean, it, there's nothing the trendies won't buy. Oh, my gosh. Help me. I mean, folks, if you couldn't see this, I mean, this was prancing. It, was it as bad as I said, guys? It was worse. It was worse. And, and there's even, and now, now listen, Nemo just ran in here with stacks of articles. NATO, Australia, England, France, uh, NORTHCOM troops are being dispatched for uh, AFRICOM. The invasion of Africa is beginning. It has nothing to do with Coney. It's about seizing land, fighting indigenous groups that are being forced off. Because it's all in the news, the UN's just in there gunning people down. But again, they've got guys prancing around going, uh, uh, liberal, and Angelina Jolie going, uh, children. And again, that's the cover. Imagine the tank ramming the Branch of Indians going, this is not an assault. Please come out. We are your friends. They come out, they shoot them. It's the same thing. I mean, imagine a military that first deploys people hopping around in pink shirts going, uh, uh, uh. It's a perfect deal. Like, oh, this is a non-threatening. That's just like a, one of those fish. Guys, pull up uh, the... Uh, Lantern fish, you know, it's like a, it's at 2,000 feet and deeper, and it has that little lamp that looks like a tasty. No, a lamprey is one that attaches and, and, and is parasitic. It, it, it's a lantern fish, and it's got big giant teeth, but in the total darkness, there's a lot of little, uh, you know, glowing crustaceans and things that fish eat. So you think you're getting a big, juicy, non threatening little goblet, but really, it's the lantern hanging, and that's what Coney is. Oh, oh. And it's like, it's trendy liberal Angelina I mean, that's that's what we're dealing with here. And I'm sick of it. And I'm calling you out, scum. I cannot stand these people. Did you find the lantern fish? Watch this. I'll show you. Lantern fish. Lantern fish. You can also Google horrors of the deep. I found it. Here it is. Boom. Just show lantern. Lantern fish. The ultimate in trendiness. Oh, look, Connie 2012. Oh, look at the little Connie 2012. Little glowing. You can't see him right there. New World Order Rockefeller eugenics operation. In the dark, all you see is... Ah! Angelina Jolie, right out, shining in the darkness. Looks like a little fishy sees that and says, I'll just swim over and eat that. Little oh, but the, oh, the Africom is coming. Loving, loving, loving. You can do it. Stop, Coney. You know, Coney's like a little skeleton on the bottom. Hadn't been seen in forever. Little tiny nothing. But it's like, oh, we're going we're gonna to fight. Oh, and then there's a little, oh, boy, I said I go to your phone calls and I'm out of control now, aren't I? Matthew in Tennessee, thank you for holding during that. Go ahead, sir. That was cleansing, though. I, was, I had to see a lot of the diaper wearers out there today, and it was, it was hard. Go ahead. Matthew, I guess you don't want to talk from Tennessee. I don't even hear him airing the call. My grandma wouldn't read this. I tell you what, there are some people who believe that if someone was busting your balls, it would make a difference, but it don't. 
Uh, we missed for what, it, what what you said at first. I think the folks airing the calls were away. What? Start over. No, not a problem. Okay, so we got a couple of issues with uh, the artificial intelligence. More likely than not, the operating system that they are using for the artificial intelligence is a modified Linux system. But that's okay, because there's no threat from Fukushima. If I just go, uh, 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 everything's okay, right? Well, okay. The first thing that we need to target in this situation are the predictive programs that help control the propaganda. Right? And <laughs> All right, stay there. I'm going to come back to you. Man, that was cleansing. <sighs> Man, for like a week, I've been watching these PSYOP videos. It's really getting to me. And then I saw a bunch of the, their, the, 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 what they've created downtown. I mean, let me tell you, these are scary people. And I can tell you, a lot of them are CPSers. Oh, man, I tell you, Army's a pot-bellied coming at us hard here. I'll stay there. Oh, boy. Yeah, all the neocons that are condescending, all the condescending hippies, all the condescending trendies, all they do is buy into a certain spectrum of bull and then repeat it and pose as if they have knowledge. And the propaganda is getting so bad. The arrested development, adults acting like children now. I mean, Austin's like the capital of slackers and, and all of this. And let me tell you, it's pathetic. It's pathetic. People need to grow up and get a life. But no, they're going to be the new social leaders calling for the invasion of Africa, which has now begun. One week after Coney, I said, that's a launch of war propaganda. Look at the Bill Gates and all of them involved in it, funding it. I mean, it's not hard. It's like, that's a, that's a green tree. You know, there's a green tree out in your yard. It's, it's not hard. All right, I said I'd go to your calls a little bit of overdrive so I can get to everybody. Oh, man, it makes me sick. If you saw the video, everybody, the office hadn't seen it yet, and they thought I was joking about dancing around, going, trendy, trendy, and they call for a war. They go, worse than Hitler, worse than Bin Laden. It's some dead guy, and now they're invading all the countries. <laughs> I mean, now wars are launched, not by Hitler or Stalin up there lying, but, you know, it, 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 but by men prancing around, bending their wrist, going trendy, trendy, trendy. And everybody's like, oh, my, he just, he bent his wrist on the, on camera and did a little leprechaun dance. Let's have war. And you've got swarming idiot trendies running around calling for war. Okay, I'm sorry. Matthew in Tennessee, we're getting into the whole AI situation with the uh, scientist we had on earlier. Go ahead. Well, the question is not whether or not there is artificial intelligence. The question is what degree of intelligence is artificial at this time. Now, when we're looking at this situation, we have to get down, just like you were saying earlier, to the kernel, right? Because the kernel is programmed in objects. So when you think about one of the obstacles to the situation, it is programming the philosophy of people like Plato, people like Pythagoras, into objects that the computer can, can then process. Right now, people get afraid of this. There's really no reason to be afraid. The truth of the matter is, is that if you have studied in your life and you understand what deception is, when people try to use the predictive programs for propaganda, you can identify that it is deception right away. So really what we're talking about is, is what do we do to free the minds of our countrymen, right, which is no small task. So what, what I am suggesting to you is, is that we need to get people like Mr. Stallman working on who wrote the predictive programs, who wrote the kernel for the larger mainframes that they are using for the artificial intelligence. Because there's only so many brilliant people out there, and they get recruited from university. So if you see someone who you knew in your class who then disappeared into government work, you know who's working on it. So there's plenty of info warriors to research this sort of thing. We just need to get on top of the ball. Well, I hear you, and it was well said, and I agree with you, And uh, but uh, we need to get people to actually worry about real things that threaten our society. God bless you. I appreciate your call. We've got new articles at InfoWars.com. Angelina Jolie, shills for globalist plan in Africa at ICC trial, prancing around telling everybody they're the good guys when you know what they are. Only remaining MSN reporter covering Ron Paul is pulled. Gun shop site re-election fears is... Gun sales surge, yeah, to all-time highs. Cafferty thinks, says thanks to the military-industrial complex, we're still in Afghanistan. He thanks to the opium pal. Obama plays bin Laden card in re-election effort. How he killed bin Laden, if you believe that, you believe in Keebler elves and pixies. A major U.S. airport to evict TSA screeners. And we have the Rappaport interview up there as well. Also, a professor wants population to be chemically castrated, a free will, government agrees. Uh, that's just some of the info up on that subject. 
Highway bill amendment defeated that would have sent billions to Soros, Boone Pickens, others. Uh, we've also got uh, the report of gay spying case. Will jury convict for hate? And the guy is a prank, had a video camera taping people having sex in the dorm. Hey, I say you should go to jail. What about the government spying without warrants? What about them? Okay, we're in a little bit of overdrive here. Let's move quick to your calls. Chuck in Oklahoma, you're on the air. Thanks for holding while I had a breakdown watching Trendies. Go ahead. Yeah, hey, buddy. Uh, I was going to ask you, what do you think of uh, Brad? I know you're you're, uh, you're friends with Brad. Or I am not Brad friends Pitt. with Brad Pitt. I, I've, I, I've said I know people that know a lot about him, and, I'm, and I, I'll, I'll just leave it at that. That's all I ever said. People turned it all off into this big thing. I'm attacking Angelina Jolie because she's a warmongering pig who is pushing for all these invasions that have now begun on the back of a phantom menace. And the U.N. is a murdering group, and I'm sick of them getting away with this. I'm calling them out. And I couldn't agree more. And I was... I was Curious. I mean, I think Brad feels about this because he's, you know, from what I heard, he's kind of a, you know, one of the good guys. You know, like I hear he watches your show and he's kind of into the, uh, you know, kind of the opposite. It seems like. All right. Well, I talked to Aaron Russo before he died, and he did meet with him, and he did know him, and they liked his film and said they'd watch my stuff. And then I separately through some other people. You know, it's like I've met a bunch of these people at parties and events that, and I mean, you know, talk to them, you know, it's like I've met Sean Penn twice. And then the third time I met him, he didn't even know who I was. And later goes, Oh, I like your show. Oh. And then once I talked to him on the phone, you know, uh, Charlie Sheen put him on the phone and he, he knew who I was then. And then another time didn't know who I was. So I don't know that they, they seem smart part of the time and they seem really dumb. The other part, but I don't care. I'm going after Angelina Jolie. And uh, exposing her. And he should be ashamed of her. And you know what? If Brad Pitt doesn't like it, he can come, you know, tell me to my face. I'll stomp his ass into the ground. His wife is a war criminal, and I don't care. And I'm exposing her. Yeah. Yeah, but he, uh, he wishes he was with uh, Janet, uh, Jennifer Aniston right about now. Well, I tell you, she is really beautiful and horrible bosses. <laughs> All right, that's enough. I think Aunt Jennifer Aniston's beautiful. I think, uh, uh, you know, I mean, side issue. I shouldn't be talking about beating people up. I just, people are sending me emails going, Brad Pitt will kick your butt. Well, good. Listen, you know, I'm going up against the new world order. You think I'm worried about some woman's husband? I don't care if he sends a hit team to kill me. I don't care. I'm committed. I'm not shutting up. I'm not backing off. I'm unleashed. I'm unchained. I'm sick of it. I'm calling out a bunch of mass murderers for what they are. Chuck in Oklahoma, you're on the air. Go ahead. Ah, okay, I'm sorry. Rob in California, go ahead. Hello, are you there? Yes, sir. Oh, I'm calling from Orange uh, Oath Keepers, Orange County, California chapter. Uh, we are promoting a fundraiser for the County Sheriff's Project. It's called the County Sh uh, California Sheriff's Posse Call and Fundraiser. Uh, Sheriff Richard Mack is going to be our guest. Speaker. Very exciting. We're going to have to get him back here in studio uh, for that. I appreciate your call, sir. But if I let people aren't doing endless plugs, it'll never end. Yeah, I'm supporting that whole sheriff's issue. I'm, uh, initiative. I'm supporting the general initiative because I've looked at it and support it and believe in it. You sound like a great guy. I just don't know you from Adam doing a fundraiser thing on air. Uh, let's talk to Brock in Alabama, who'll have to be tail gunner. Sorry to Colin. Uh, go ahead. Or Colin's up next, then Brock. Colin, go ahead. Come on ahead. Looking at this Coney video and analyzing it up close, and then, you know, I pulled back to quantify the bigger picture, kind of like a chess match, and it came to mind that what if, you know, they're keeping Coney hidden till the right time, sort of like Bin Laden? Oh, yeah, no, no, I, I thought that. He's probably dead. Most people think he's been dead for six years. And then they're going to roll him out, exactly, and call the African invasion a victory. We invaded nine countries, and we got some guy I hadn't been seen in forever. It's good. Yeah, exactly. They use him, you know, Obama uses him as a re-election tool. And then the campaign itself, you know, it says Coney 2012, meaning that it's supposed to end this year. So all the trendies, you know, they'll be on the bandwagon like, oh, we had a successful mission. No, that, exactly. The minute I saw it, it's a total psyop, and I'm sorry I hadn't made that point. I 100% agree with you. And then, like, just one more point. I know like, they feel like they have all this fake momentum and, and like, hey, we got him. Let's go for the next guy. And so I went and looked. And you'll never believe it, on the ICC wanted list, the next two guys on their list after Coney is a guy in Sudan and then a guy in Congo. No, 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 exactly, sir. It's a bad guy hunt to invade all of Africa. 